All right, we're back from the range on the uh, 429, 230. We uh, we didn't do too good. <clears throat> Maybe just me, I don't know. Uh, talking to a couple people online about it. <clears throat> what I expected in velocity didn't happen it was way high to me uh, by translating what was in the book for the uh, 44 special and over to the their magnum load same bullet just same powder just changing from magnum to specials <clears throat> I should have been at 1100 up to about 1300 and first shot was 15 1501 or 1503 something like that and it's like whoa and it, it flattened the primers but I mean it's not like over pressured flatten them you know where there's no edges it still had a little bit of a rounded edge so I stopped because it's, it's like I don't really want to push it that hard uh, I, I was Hoping I could get somewhere around 1300 is what I was looking for. <clears throat> That's where I want to shoot it at. But, uh, I mean, you're starting out where I started out, it, and it's already at 1500 out of that 10 inch barrel. And by the time I'd have gone up almost two full grains from there, it'd have been, it really would have been kicking, you know. That's the thing, too, is that contender, it's, it's light, you know. It ain't, you don't weigh as much as a, like a Smith and Wesson or something like that. <clears throat> They're pretty light, and really, when you get into the 44s and 45s on those things, on these, you know, I'm talking about these old contenders. That barrel isn't very thick, you know. Uh, I've seen a few of them blown up <clears throat> running full house 44s before, so I don't want really to push it myself. So anyway. Uh, shot five rounds out of it. Let's see. I was aiming at that square, and this target was next to it, so and that's at 50 yards. <clears throat> we uh, we thought, well, maybe my weight charge was off. Uh, I uh, pulled pulled the next load out. And it's spot on where it's supposed to be. So, I don't know. I'm gonna go back and 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 drop drop way back down and, and go back out to the range with it again. I had footage of it, and it, you can see it. The muzzle fl flip on it was pretty stout. You know, it didn't feel as bad though. You know, I've shot H110 through it before, and it kicks like a mule with that stuff. So that's why I wanted to try the 2400 because I felt knew it was a little softer kicking, and it worked. It it wasn't that bad of a kick, but man, the primers uh, I said the primers are not bad, but you know, to me, I'm. That's about as max as I'd want to do out of that contender. But it was a bad load. I mean, shotgun pattern, so I don't know. <clears throat> we'll start over again. We got plenty more of those. We'll pull all these out and resize them and, and get some more loaded up and go back out again. All right. Thanks for watching.